everyone and welcome to another Excel chat walkthrough video. I'm your host, Kevin Kelly, and today we're going to be talking about how to use COUNTIF within Google Sheets. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Uh, COUNTIF in Google Sheets is the same concept as COUNTIF in Excel, so this should be relatively quick. I'm going to type in the formula right here, and Google Sheets is pretty helpful because it gives you little examples and summaries and kind of what each definition means so you don't have to go looking up for yourself. So the range is pretty simple. That's just going to be here, our range of sales. That's what we're looking at. That is the data that we're evaluating right now. Now we hit comma here, and it's asking for our criteria. So our criteria could be anything. We have to put in quotation marks when we put it in. And let's say in this case, we want to know what sales are greater than 200. How many, how many sales do we have that are greater than 200? So Google Sheets has sold us six. And if we count up here, we can see uh, greater than 200, one, two, three, four, five, six. It did not count bottled soda because we didn't say equal to uh, or greater than 200. So it didn't count that one. So uh, COUNTIF is really good for counting up the number of instances within a, table, uh, within a data table. And you can also use it to count up the words. So it doesn't just have to be numbers. So let's say we switch up the formula. And let's put our range as the products here. Now we hit comma. Now let's say we want to know how many instances of bottled water were there. Close and enter. So again, Google Sheets has given us the right answer. It's told us that there's one instance of bottled water, which is correct. But let's say we want to look within our products and say, okay, how many bottled products do we have? Or how many canned products do we have? That's a little bit different. So you can look for it within this range using, using COUNTIF, but you have to specify using what's called a wild card. So the wild card is this asterisk right here. And the asterisk on both sides of the word bottle is just saying, okay, the whole cell doesn't just have to have bottle. But if it contains the word bottled, then we want to count that. So that's what that means. And then we're going to hit enter. And it said three instances, bottled water, bottled soda, bottled juice, which is correct. Still have questions? Click to get help from a live Excel expert at Excel Chat.